Before we get too far in this course, we want to give you a little bit of a definition of how we understand human rights today. So let's write this down. Human rights are inalienable fundamental rights to which a person is inherently entitled simply for being human. Now there are a lot of big words in there, so let's break this down a little bit. Inalienable just means that it's a right that can't be taken away from you. So it means it can't be alienated from you. Fundamental just means it's a basic right, a right that sort of like you stand on the ground, it's sort of a basic right that other things stand upon. It and so here rights we've talked about this in our in our last video so you should remember that and if you don't you can go back and look at that video so inalienable fundamental rights to which a person is inherently and here we've got another strange word inherently means it's essential it's a part of being a human it's basically just a part of that um, and it's a natural part of it I guess is maybe a good way of describing it and entitled to, and I spelled entitled to incorrectly, we'll take that I out there. Entitled means um, it's owed to you. So you are owed, for just being a human, you are owed this fundamental right, which is not to be taken away from you. Now, where does this idea come from? Well, really, in a way, all of this is founded on two sort of ideas. One is dignity, and the other is worth. So in a way, you can kind of simplify this to the value of individuals and their right to live a dignified life. So that is sort of the way we define and understand human rights today. What is maybe, what are some maybe aspects of human rights that are really important to understand? Well, there are three, and it actually fits along very well with an African proverb that says, two stones cannot support a cooking pot. And we are going to make an illustration to describe this entire thing here. To do it, we are going to make something called rights soup. So here we're gonna make a big soup bowl, sitting on some stones. We've got our rights soup in here. It's orange for some reason. There's our soup. Maybe there's like a carrot in here or something like that. So rights soup, and it's sitting on these three stones right here. And there's some firewood underneath there. We've got a little blaze going, which means our soup is warming up. Now, if we were to pull out one of these stones, the soup would tip over and there'd be nothing to eat. So what would we then ba be basing these, this soup bowl on are these fundamental stones, these foundational stones. And the foundational stones of rights are these three things. First of all, we've got universality, so universal, we'll just say that. All human rights are universal. They are inalienable, so you recognize that one from up top there, inalienable, and they are indivisible. Divisible, there we go. So what does that mean? Universal means that human rights apply to everyone, no matter what. Every person, all humans, can't take it away across the entire spectrum of humanity. So in some ways, that's why there are lots of people out there who try to make a connection between this universality and natural law. And I think you guys might remember that from our last video. Inalienable. This means that they can't be taken away. And this is a part of the discussion, what you might, which you might hear quite a lot, which means that you can't take them away just because. There's not, there's no really, uh, there's no situation where you really can say, well, 
we can take human rights away because we have this other thing that's more important at this moment. So a lot of people will call this the trump card. Human rights trump other sort of priorities because they are more valuable and they are inherently inalienable, which means you can't take them away. All right, and then we have indivisible, which basically just means that they are interconnected. So we've got maybe these three here, maybe there's more rights that we would actually be showing, but each one of them is connected to the other. Indivisible means they're completely interrelated, they're completely tied, and if you take one away, then all the other ones suffer. So that means this indivisible nature of rights makes them essential, that it makes it essential that one is always there with all of its others, and if you take one away, then the others will suffer. So there you go. We have these three properties down here. We have our definition, and here we have the sort of the foundation, the sort of foundational ideas. And that is sort of how we understand human rights today. We're going to have a much deeper discussion about these things, and in the next video we're actually even going to talk about the history of how we came to this understanding in the first place.